The Adelaide-based shipbuilder ASC is cutting 86 jobs from its submarine workforce. The Commonwealth-owned company says it's a regrettable move, but one that's needed to meet new federal government requirements. The former submarine corporation will soon need an extra 500 people at its Osborne facility to help build air warfare destroyers. But instead of creating jobs, today ASC wielded the axe. It is a re regrettable. We, you know, we don't take any comfort in um, retrenching anyone. The 65 white-collar staff and 21 contractors were told the news this morning and finished today. All worked on the maintenance and upgrade of Collins-class submarines. Another 35 submarine employees will transfer to the destroyer building program. But the government-owned company says it couldn't afford to hang on to the others until the $8 billion project is in full swing. We did consider that, but the, lo the lower funding for next year is a reality and will probably not pick up again until the following year. ASC says it had to make the cuts in order to save $20 million. We're victims of uh, high-level national policy in that the uh, Defence Department's pressuring all its contractors to become more efficient. In the midst of a financial crisis, both the company and state government agree the timing is bad. In the long run, uh, the, the, the picture is very, very bright. Uh, it is unfortunate, though, that there is this uh, workforce management issue that clearly the ASC has had to do with. The company says it will provide generous redundancy packages and help the sacked workers find new jobs. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.